to keep its coronavirus cases constant, all thanks to quick social interventions and rapid contact tracing since the first case was reported. This is even as the neighboring Mombasa County struggles to contain the outbreak as its numbers rise. Tobias Janji spoke to the Kilifi governor, Amazon Kingi, on the measures put in place by his county. Listen in. I think Kilifi County is one of the counties that um, uh, was hit at the very beginning of this uh, pandemic. In fact, there was fear that uh, Kilifi County would be the Wuhan of, uh, of this country. And therefore, as a county, we started our preparedness pretty early uh, as uh, compared to other counties. And I think that helped us because the early uh, interventions that we did put in place actually helped us slow down the infection rate. Remember, um, we had uh, two waves. Uh, the first wave gave us six confirmed um, COVID positive cases, which uh, we did handle. And uh, the later on, uh, they all recovered. And there, thereafter, we had a second uh, wave, uh, bringing the total number to date to about 71 uh, COVID uh, positive cases. However, out of the uh, 71, 61 have so far recovered and uh, are home now. Uh, at the moment, we are managing 10 cases, uh, three females and, uh, and seven males. So that is the position obtaining as we speak today. Yeah, there's also fear that uh, after lifting of the secession, uh, most def definitely uh, Kilifi County and even Mombasa uh, expected to get uh, a lot of visitors, uh, not only tourists but also guests. Maybe how are you prepared to handle this? Uh, it's true that um, after the opening up of the country, you know, lifting the lockdown, certainly as uh, a county we're going to receive quite a number of visitors because it's, uh, it's a tourist uh, county. And uh, as a county, what measures we put in place is one, to ensure that we bring the public on board. Uh, the public will be our first uh, um, <coughs> pillar in fighting COVID in this county. Because as a, as a government, we can be able to roll out uh, uh, quite a number of uh, mitigation measures. But if the population is not with us, then certainly we are going to, uh, um, we are going to lose this war. And therefore, we have uh, put in programs that have put the common Monanchi and Kilifi at the center stage of fighting this pandemic. And that's why we have called upon each and every person uh, living in this county to take um, personal responsibility uh, in the fight against COVID. Um, as a county, we have managed to come this far because of uh, working with the citizenry. Uh, because one, COVID can only be fought successfully if the individual takes personal responsibility by exercising self-discipline. Self-discipline is the only tool that will save not just Kilifi, but the entire country. We do not want a situation where a person is wearing a mask because they've seen a policeman coming uh, towards them. They should be able to wear a mask whether there is a policeman or not. Because the reason of wearing that particular mask is not because we are avoiding ar um, being arrested by the police, but we are wearing this mask for purposes of preventing ourselves from getting infected with this virus. And once that kind of attitude is acceptable and is practiced by every individual, then the war against COVID in this country will be won. It will be extremely painful if our people only observe these protocols because maybe leaders are there or because the police are there. And uh, that is the kind, of, um, uh, the kind of talk we've had with our people. That is the kind of uh, attitude we have managed to inculcate in our people from the very beginning. And it has helped Kilifi County to put its numbers down. And I believe going forward is going to help us despite the lifting of the lockdown, as long as we exercise self-discipline, as long as we can be able to protect ourselves, whether the policemen are there or not, 
we will be able to surmount uh, this huge challenge. Okay. My second last question, will you kindly break it to us uh, uh, in terms of uh, the bed capacity, the ventilators, and uh, maybe the isolation centers that you have? Currently, we have a capacity of 318 beds that can be able to uh, take COVID patients. Uh, at the moment, only out of the 318 beds, only 10 are occupied. Uh, so we still have lots of space that we can be able to uh, cushion our people, even should there be any wave uh, that may saw the numbers. However, we are not stuck at 318. In the next few weeks, we want to push this to about 400, uh, looking at the trend of infection and uh, the daily reporting. Uh, but we believe as a county, we, the capacity that we built can be able to withstand uh, uh, the kind of projections that uh, we are seeing. Again, we have put in for the critically um, maybe affected people, we do have uh, ICU beds uh, coupled with uh, ventilators that can be able to handle the critically ill people. We have so far not had any critical case in, in, in Kilifi. Out of the 71 uh, cases, none of those um, uh, was put in, on, in, in, in a ventilator or needed any uh, form of supply of oxygen. So our ICU beds are yet to, uh, to be put into use. Uh, beyond the ICU beds, we have made sure that uh, we supply 144 beds with oxygen by coming up with a medical oxygen unit at uh, the complex here in Kilifi. So apart from the seven ICU beds, we, the 144 beds that are, 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 are contained uh, in the complex, each bed is supplied with oxygen, which is being piped from the medical oxygen unit uh, fixed to the complex. So I believe should there be a need for any patient in Kilifi who may require a ventilator or who may require to be managed through supply of oxygen, we have that capacity uh, because we have the 144 beds that are supplied with oxygen and for the critically uh, affected people we can be able to push them to the ICU and uh, be aided uh, through the usage of uh, our ventilators. Then my last question. Kilifi County is a strategic county, strategic in terms that uh, it's the only county in the entire, of course, region that has the uh, Kenya Medical Research Institute where these tests are being done. And uh, the other counties, five counties, depend on Kilifi County. Uh, has it been a disadvantage to you? Uh, I think Kemri has come as a blessing. The location, uh, having Kemri domiciled in Kilifi has been a big blessing because we are able then to uh, take our samples uh, just within the county. Uh, before the entire region was relying heavily on Kemri Kilifi, but as we speak, uh, Mombasa, they've developed their labs, so they no longer bring their, 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 their samples to Cambry Kilifi, and therefore that has freed Cambry uh, to test for the other counties plus Kilifi. And uh, apart from Cambry Kilifi, as a county, we've also developed another lab in Malindi uh, Hospital. And therefore, we have two um, ISO certified labs that are actually doing COVID uh, testing. And uh, we're also helping Lam on Tana River using the Malindi and the Cambry labs. And therefore, uh, the capacity to test has really been improved, and that's why we're able to test many numbers. Uh, the first wave, we tested about 308, uh, um, about 300, roughly, slightly above 300 uh, samples, which gave us the six positive. But because of the improved capacity, uh, from the end of May uh, to date, we have managed to test over 3,000, uh, taking these samples to the labs. And because of the capacity, we've been able to improve uh, the number of samples that are churned out daily. Um, I believe this has also helped the other counties of Lamu and Tana River because they still bring the samples here. Equally, uh, Kwale also does bring samples to Cambry Kilifi. But because of the capacity that has been improved, uh, the lab capacity, certainly they're able now to churn out more results 
as uh, compared to the very initial stages when we were struggling to get this uh, some even the time that it takes for results to come out uh, is shorter currently compared to the initial stages when we and that's the latest in terms of COVID-19 updates from Kilifi County. We'll definitely keep you updated even as we await uh, the numbers to be released on the positive cases today. We'll keep you updated right here on KTN News. So do stay right here. We've come to the end of the Broadcast News Centre, but do stay here. We'll be back at the top of the hour at 1 p.m. to bring you up to speed with the latest developments. I'm Jesse Rogers. Good morning. This is KTN News.